I got. Hang on. I got. I got to turn on. I got to turn on the alarm. Whoop whoop. No, there we go. Whoop whoop. We have eighty dollars and eight cents from Flux Umbreon, who uh, just says, "Haha, funny calculator number." Boob. I get it. Boob. <laughs> You're a boob. So that brings us to eleven $1 hundred fifty-nine dollars and seventy cents total. So coming up. Coming up next, we've got Destruction Derby 64 uh, for the Nintendo 64. Obviously, I've got my I've got my Pikachu controller and console and everything set up. A lot of people are like, "Oh my God, Drake, are you actually you play with the Pikachu N64? That's a collector's item." I'm like, "Yeah, I know. I don't care. Uh, toys are were meant to be played with. Eat my ass." <laughs> So we're going to be playing, we did Destruction Derby Arenas earlier, now we're going to do the Novice Circuit of Destruction Derby 64. The game functions pretty much exactly the same. If you pop somebody on the top of their car, they die instantly, and uh, you do some races, and then you do an arena. So we're going to hop into it here, and this one is also going out to Reflex, because this was another game of, of, of ours that we really enjoyed playing we never owned it but this one was a really frequent rental for us we would always rent this game and we spent enough on rentals that we probably should have just bought it because we definitely probably paid more than the cost of the game and i finally obtained a copy of myself for like 20 bucks uh recently so <clears throat> i'm really happy about that this the game uh we had so much fun playing this game that there is a level called Terminal Impact that I actually took the name of and named one of my battle bots after. So that's how much of an impact, uh, Terminal Impact, you could say, this game had on us whenever we were growing up. So this is another one going out to Reflex. Two. Destruction, Destruction Derby. Derby. Don't we have, we have, yeah, the street rocket. We're going to play with this one. All right, here we go. Novice circuit in three, two, one. Let's go. Welcome to Seascape Sprint. Three, two, one, go! So you're going to notice that this game functions much like the much like the first that we played. It's going to be a little rougher around the edges, especially in terms of scoring and all that. But it's pretty much the same game. I would have had these two games side by side, but I try to. You know, if you look on the schedule, I've got all the P I've got all the PS2 games in one clump, and then I've got all the 64 games in one clump. quote that all the time. That's another one down. Eight to go. Scoring some big points here. The, the score is... the Okay, so 250 points is a lot of points to, to score. Um, the, the, the score in Destruction Derby Arenas was... It was made more arcade-like so that you would get a higher score like artificially inflating it oh i got him that's a kill baby rack him up so just because i only have 291 points that doesn't mean that like i'm sucking that's actually quite a lot of points Uh oh. 
now I'm black smoking. Last hurrah. Fuck you. Yeah. Uh, if I go down, I'm taking you with me. I call that the Andros strategy. <laughs> Am I still first? Congratulations. Yeah, it's all about scoring those points. to see you we're doing some destruction derby 64 with uh with that beautiful frame rate ooh 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 barrel roll nope nope no points for the barrel roll oh Yikes. That was nasty. Trading paint with the green car, though. That's another one down. That's another one down. Okay, we got some cars coming up. Oh, oh, get off the wall. We got cars coming up. We got cars coming. We got points to score. Come on. Let's do this. Got him! I just rear-ended him to death. Another one down. So this game is a lot simpler with the uh, 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 collision mechanics. You can be bumping and grinding against a car, and and you'll be doing damage to it. It doesn't keep track of like how Destruction Derby Arenas kept track of the the corners and sides of your car in independently. This game just keeps track of the car itself, like the whole car. So as as long as you're hitting the car somewhere. It should count. So like I said, this is this is a simpler version of arenas. But you can see you can see where oh! Oh! Oh, can we get a replay on that? Oh! Mm. Oh my god. I already forgot what I was saying. Wow. Wow we <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! That was something else, I tell you. That was that was amazing. Anyways, you can you can see the seeds of Destruction Derby arenas in this game. You can see where that game came from. You can see the DNA. So that that's why I put both of these games on the schedule so that you can kind of you can kind of see that evolution. And also, just so I can have an excuse to play this game, because I like it. Ain't first or last. Welcome to the junkyard. Three, two, one, go! All right.
rolling around and rolling around. That's not good. So the uh, hit detection for um, getting an insta kill on a car was kind of touchy in the, on the PS2 game. On this one, it's even worse. Like the the game is very generous, can be very generous with it, and I'm surprised I'm surprised it hasn't killed me outright. Got to be got to be careful making all these jumps and stuff like that. Stop. front of my car is just a, a just a, a pointed battering ram at this point I think I can get this guy. Yes! That put me back in first. Got him. Oh, he got me. Okay, that was a double kill. No, no, it's not. I'm alive. I'm alive. I died. But I got first. <laughs> Maybe I was the last one standing. I don't actually know. Welcome to Terminal, Terminal Impact. Impact. This is the level that I named my robot after. Three, two, one, is this the politically correct monster jam? Please stand because we, we will play every national anthem from every country on the planet. So this game does have simple mechanics of, of detecting front and rear collisions, but it doesn't really, I mean, it does make a difference in terms of how much cars get damaged. Ooh! That was dirty. So cars are either strong or weak from the front or back. And that's that's really that's really all there is to it. So depending on that, using that knowledge, you'll know whether to back into opponents in, 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 in a circuit arena or drive into them head on. And vice versa. This guy oh come on, that guy's ah. I was trying to get a, I was trying to get a handle on that guy. Man, cars are dropping like flies in this in this arena. I mean, in this track. I can't get on him. My car doesn't handle very well. That's the that's the, that's the trade-off I made with this car. Is that if it doesn't have very good handling, I might be able to kill this guy. Yes! 
Take them out. Line them up and knock them down. One of those guys just ran into the parked plane. Ooh! Ooh! That's gotta hurt. Mmm! Mm -mm. Not on my track! Now, unfortunately, there's only two cars left, and we're, like, miles apart on the track. Okay, this is important. Where are they? Where are they? Yes! Oh, okay, that's a double kill. Nice. Welcome, Welcome to Destruction Junction. That's right. This is the last. This is the last Three, race. Two, one, go! <laughs> Just ran up and clipped into the start banner. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Can I get a do-over on that one? Oh, flip, flip, okay. Okay, good. I, I, I hit a checkpoint. They don't give you a lot of time to start with. You have to earn time by smashing in the cars. Oh, God. I'm not trying to dodge the cars. It's just that this is such a wide open level, it's hard to see. There's a hit. Puts me in fifth place. stuck on a column and I couldn't hit him. Like I can see what they wanted to do with this with this course, but it's just too big. It's too wide. Oh man! Nailed him. It looks like the only cars left are actually going my direction. So I can fix that. Oh, shit. Now, this is the right way, trust me. Fuck. Missed him.
Well, that was my chance right there to, to try and score some more points. So it looks like I'm finishing third. Fourth. Fourth. We should, we, we should still be good. Top of the charts. Yeah. We got the gold medal! We did it! So that that that's uh, that's the novice circuit for Destruction Derby '64. Um, there's intermediate, advanced, expert, and things like that. But I figured since we already played Destruction Derby arenas, we've done enough. We've done enough Destruction Derbying. I just wanted to put this one on mostly to kind of show you guys uh, how how the game how the game used to used to be. Like the, one of the games that we grew up with before we got treated with arenas and we were like whoa i don't think there's been another destruction derby game in the series after arenas so it pretty much ended on a high note it's like test drive eve eva destruction ending on like a high note it's never gotten to that height again so uh this but this was this was a relic of our past that we we were really fond of and i wanted to share it with you guys back to talking time Got to turn on the uh, got to turn on the alert, the donation alert, because we have a uh, a donation from Ab AB, uh, one hundred dollars so Yoshi can pay off his tax debts. <laughs> I think that is from Abobo. Thank you, Abobo, if uh, you're watching right now. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> Yoshi. <laughs> Paying off that tax fraud. So that's a that's another that's another challenge that I owe you guys. Let me let me write that down on the card. Cause that that now brings us to twelve hundred fifty nine dollars. Twelve hundred fifty nine dollars. And yes, get those Yoshi emotes out in chat. Get them out get them get them out there in chat for, for MRL. And and for uh, not MRL for the Bobo for for the donation, I appreciate it. Uh, let me let me clear the timer. That was what like thirteen eighteen for the novice time. That's not bad. That was not a bad time. Hey, thanks for checking out Gatorbox on YouTube. We really appreciate it. If you like what you saw and you want to kick around with us live, follow us on Twitch because we do this several times during the week. And if you want to support this channel, you can do so by subscribing right here on YouTube, following or subscribing over on Twitch, or even making a pledge on Patreon. Your support over the years has been tremendous. Thank you so, so much. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video right here on Gatorbox.